Hey there everyone, this is Daniel playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time uh, we tried to start Chapter 3 but we got a little stuck because ZST is here guarding the park at the west side of town. You have to get her a contact lens. It's actually surprisingly simple to do this. Uh, all you gotta do is go through the item shop. I, I assume what you're supposed to do is require some of these items. Because I didn't. Uh, so I didn't buy anything here, but if you talk to this person... Welcome! Yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar! Huh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? So, you're supposed to talk to them after Chapter 1. Uh, and then, when you come back later, uh, you can actually come and buy them. Buy the... You, you meant to talk to them, like, right away, and then after Chapter 1, you can come back and buy it. But we didn't do that, so in order to make some time pass, we have to go and rest at the inn again. Which is fine, because we do need some healing anyway. And we have more ring coupons to get out of our pockets. <laughs> Thank you. So now we're just going to go uh, back to the shop. They will have a contact lens. We can buy the contact lens. We can give it to ZST, which will let us access the rest of our report. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, basically you're meant to talk to this person just inside the shop here as soon as you, like, break the lens. Hey, fellas. Oh, hasn't arrived quite yet. Okay. According to the wiki, that's what you're supposed to do. Mario wiki says resting it in is long enough to make it happen. I guess we'll go to a trouble while we wait. While we wait. Uh... I don't really know how long you have to wait. Because, <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to order them much earlier in the game. As soon as you break the lens, you're supposed to go and ask them to order one. I didn't do that. Uh... They call me Garf. I've lost my key and thus can't get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Want to take on Garf's trouble? Yes. Okay, I'm not sure if I can actually find that yet. But I believe it's that key. You're Garf, right? Bad show. Okay. I believe the bad shop is also in West Rogueport, so we may not be able to get to it just yet. <laughs> have the contact lens now? They do, there it is, see? Contact lens. An aid for poor vision. Does Mario really need this? Yes, I'd love to buy it. Thanks, fella. There we go, now we can go... Oh, there's the key, look. It's up there. Go grab it. Maybe this is the bad shop. Key to a house. Whoever lost it likely needs it back. I just haven't played this game in so long that I can't remember a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is a bad shop. There you go. First attack. Ooh, that does sound good. Super appeal. Last stand. Piercing blow. Pretty lucky P. Uh, I think I want first attack. That sounds very good. That's most of my money, but like I really want that ability, so <laughs> I was gonna go for it. In costs one BP to equip, so I'll just take off. Let's say multi bounce. We have multi bonk, which eventually does the same thing. Uh, so now with first attack, if I jump on a weak enemy or whack him with the hammer, we just don't go into battle. It just defeats them immediately. Uh, which is neat. Okay, 
let's take that key back where it needs to go. Really should have given Zest back a contact lens. <laughs> it's interesting that you can just order one, like you don't know what sort of contact lens she needs, like what measurements and stuff. Here's your house key. Did you find my key? Yep. Yes, my key! You can finally get inside my house again. Home sweet home, thank you. Please take this as payment for your efforts, alright? For 20 coins. Solve the trouble. Can I go in the house as well? Sure can. Hey, we don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. There's not a lot here, but yeah, I'm glad you can get into your house again. Might as well take on another trouble while we're at it. This is McGoomba, and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Roadport. Meet me behind Zesty's house in Roadport Plaza. Yeah, let's do it. Let's deliver something. Interestingly, it looks like you can only take on one trouble at a time, which is not the case in Bug Fables. You can just take all the quests and have them active at all times, <laughs> which is a lot simpler. In terms of, like, quest management, you just basically go accept all and just go do everything. Hey, Makoomba. You never know who'll be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfrey. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. Try not to be seen. I got a box. The thing that Goomba asked you to deliver to Goomfrey. Yeah, I haven't really done these trouble parts of the game before, so this is interesting. It's nice to look at some of these side parts. You're Goomfrey, right? Here's your box. Package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Helmet Goomba, I said so. And do me a favour. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened. For your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give McGoomba my message, he'll give you a compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you give my message to McGoomba. What was it I just delivered? <laughs> so curious. Deliver it? Save my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck. You get something good. 20 coins. Alright. <laughs> okay, uh, let's proceed with the main stuff now. So we do have a new contact for Zess. Here you go. You bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy. Here you go. Contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see! Oh, I'm so happy! Be careful from now on. People that generally like having their stuff stomped on. So, we can go and talk to Zess and have her cook, cook food. Uh, if we have appropriate items that can be cooked, such as shrooms, we can get them cooked into other things. Uh, I don't know what the recipes in this game are. I know them all in Bug Fables, but let's not watch this game. But yeah, we can go to Zess and ask her to cook food in order to make more interesting items. Hello. Going to the theatre is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been as fun lately since my favourite actress left the stage for good. Watch your fans like me. Uh, Flurry? Is your favourite actor Flurry? This is Rogueport's west side. This is totally the friendlier face of Rogueport. Not that it's, you know, a great place to raise a family, but it's good for Rogueport. The corner with the fountain is definitely the most restful spot in Roadport. The area is controlled by Don Pianta. Head of the Pianta Syndicate? Yeah, the shop and parlor here are totally fronts for his business. Oh yeah, I read that. I was trying to talk to you. That's a toad from the west side. She's a big theatre goer, and apparently she's also a raving fan of Flurries. Yeah, I thought so. There's the fountain. I think this pipe maybe gets lowered later on so we can actually get into it. Right now it's a bit tall. <laughs> so 
The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. <laughs> yeah, we want to go to the item shop here. Which is run by a Bunnebu. <laughs> Cute. Uh, I would like a dried shroom, please. It's going to be two coins for that dried shroom. Care to buy it, cutie? Oh, thanks, sugar. Uh, I love a dizzy dial, please. It's going to be 12 coins for that dizzy dial. Care to buy it, cutie? Oh, thanks, sugar. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What colour is your moustache? Yellow. What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. <clears throat> okay, mister, what's your favourite colour? Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, let me check out. You know the password. So, uh, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You just chewed the door open, I guess? With the animation? You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. And now we can get back here. You can see there's a shine sprite there. We're going to be able to get that for a long time, unfortunately. But keep it in mind. Here's Don Pianta. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't, no, I ain't too jolly today. You gotta be. Spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You ought to be. You got some nerve asking me- some noive asking me for that. I can't do the voice. I'm trying. You got some noive asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. Make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on a rail boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You still going for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you're up and up. You got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this thing, you're collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about that ancient treasure? And he is such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing, that treasure's real. Don't, don't tell the mafia that, Goombella. <laughs> Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell ya, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue something skirty fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favour, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Wait. What's the favour? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Finny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. Because you lugs can't find it, I've got to swallow my pride and ask this guy. Hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and, a uh, friend. Then come see me. But Jessica and Frankie look like this. How are you doing that in your speech bubble? <laughs> and just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. This is Rogueport's west side. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna hear about Don Pianta. 
That's the boss, Don Pianta. Screw what they say about power. This guy's got poise. But he's got a mean streak a mile wide. They call him the Don of Untimely Death. Still, he's got a really soft spot for his daughter Francesca. That's Tony of the Piantas. That guy there's his brother brother Vinny, they're super tight. When he's a wise guy, he doesn't mind mixing it up a bit, if you know what I mean. That's Vinny of the Piantas. That guy there's his brother Tony, they're super tight. They live for their boss, seriously, they put their lives on the line for him. Okay, now we are going to go and look for Francesca. That's Pika, a boo who works at Westside Goods. He's so pretty for a boo. I think her sister's Lala at the boo who works at the Pianta Parlor. It's kind of, kind, of, kind of racist to you there, Gumbella. A little bit of a backhanded compliment. Wow. Uh, I believe we have to head this way to find Francesca. Although I could be mistaken. Yes, I was mistaken. <laughs> I think this is unrelated, but I want to visit this house just to see what's here. Hello. Yet another day dwindle, dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery today, but I didn't even go outside. I should have gone and collect my prize. Oh well, I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. That Cooper lives here. He must have been born lucky because he always succeeds. He has all the money he'll ever need, but I think he's still unfulfilled somehow. Hmm, then again, that doesn't surprise me as he spends all day in bed. This goes to show you can't buy happiness and you should occasionally leave bed. My wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. Wish I could have fun too, but I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. That guy's a frustrated novelist. He's got great ideas, but he ruins them on paper. I think he just psychs himself out. I mean, he's got the talent and all. Also, it doesn't really matter what your wife is doing, you should be able to write. <laughs> oh, baby! My mom just plays games all day long. She doesn't have a job, she never cleans. Terrible. I mean, this place looks great. I think this kid lives here. He's afraid to go outside, spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think, but it's not our place to stick our noses in. It's these age tend to over-dramatize their problems anyway. Know what I mean? Are they in the parlor? I don't remember. Probably not in the parlor, but I'll have a quick look just in case. Yeah, you can turn sideways to fall down that grate there and end up in a different part of the plumbing. Oh, did you come here to do research too? Excuse me? You're an adventurer? Really? Wow. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone describe occupation as adventurer. Trigger. Soft Stomp. Execute superbly to make enemies soft. I think it's like it reduces their defense or something. It's a very cute way of phrasing it though. <laughs>
Hang on. That's a Spanier. A uh, Spanier with spikes on its head. It looks meaner too. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0, so sort of the same as a Spinier. You ought to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. I gotta be honest though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. There we go. And then let's do a power smash to get rid of it in one go. And yeah, we do two damage per hit now because we got ranked up, which is nice. Got a star point. I think we can't do a whole lot here until later in the game. Do something with this pipe. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's another one of these rooms. does three damage now instead of two, which is nice. Oops. Sorry, Mario. Oh, there's lots of them. Hello. Uh, yeah, Coops, you take the lead, just power shell them. There we go. Gradual syrup. Yum, 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 yum. I keep pressing right when I want to switch party members, but it's actually left he's supposed to press, unfortunately. I'm not sure what's it's leading me, I've completely based on this section of the game. Oh, hello! Is this the period of 100 trials? It is! I'm not ready for that. Probably about done in here for now. <laughs> I'll just get back out. <laughs> just kind of got distracted for a little bit by just messing around in the sewers, as you do. That common situation that everyone finds themselves in now and then. Oh, uh, by the way, Mario's walking speed is probably starting to become a little annoying at this point. The developers knew that. Uh, you'll see why shortly. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about. I mean, what I mean by that, surely. Uh... Anyway, back to Rogueport. I mean, we're in Rogueport, but now we're in Rogueport, not the sewers. We're in regular Rogueport. Y you feel me? Yeah.
Are they back here, so? Yep, there they are. Ooh. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something or you just like sidling off to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. When the boat's coming any minute. Dollface. I think we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what it'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. You can just talk calm like with the boss. We'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Oh, thank you, thank you, you're swell, mister, you're a real stand-up guy. I think we actually have to reveal the locations. That's Francesca the Pinata, she's well-connected, get me? Her dad's a big boss. She doesn't crave money or power or anything like that, though, she lives for love. Doesn't that, like, totally melt your heart? People could learn from this girl. That's Francesca's boyfriend, Frankie, he's the future of the Piata Syndicate. Hard to believe, isn't it? Still, it's the number two guy after Don Pianta. I think we actually do have to betray them after saying that, unfortunately. <sighs> I think we just go back and tell Don Pianta that we couldn't find them, and then they get found anyway, maybe? Honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> We do, Mario. We tell Don Pianto we're stomping on their dreams, but if we don't... Well, that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound too appetizing. We at least have to tell him something. Who's come back? The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? Forgive, what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? What? I must be going deaf. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me? To me? You look like a sucker to ya? I warned you, wise guy. Fine, we're gonna need a mop pick on what's left of ya. Daddy, wait! Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I I'm sorry, truly I am. Frankie. So, back you come, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, used up your last favour long ago. And you, Frankie. You are like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you two, it's like a poison shroom in my gut. 
Daddy. Boss. I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad, no, wait, I mean, boss. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. Francesca, seeing you just happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things are turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. You still here? Hmm. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and not a soap opera. But hey, deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. You got a blimp ticket? Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back yet. Okay, goodbye. I got a blimp ticket, that's all that matters. <laughs> Yay, awesome, we did it. Now we can go to Glitzville. Got an email. Uh, that's not important. Uh, I did see the blimp on this screen, but I think we actually have to go back to the center of Rogueport to use it. Use the blimp. Or get onto it or whatever. See, there it is in the background. Oh, actually, no, we just talked to this guy. Okay, I remember now. Hey. Hang on the bench if you want. This is Rogueport Station. You can board intercity trains or blimps here. The XS Express, the XS Express, found for Poshley Heights is nice and shiny, isn't it? Wow. I bet all the town kids are just dying to ride it at least once, you know? That blimp over at the airfield looks super cool too. Blimps are awesome. So this thing is the XS Express. Uh, that will be relevant later. That's Stuart, the blimp conductor. His job is to check blimp passengers' tickets. I hear he loved the sea even as a child and wanted to become a sailor. But now he's sailing the skies instead. I guess his dream sorta of came true, huh? He's like an air sailor or something. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Are you joining us on our flight today? Yes. Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. And please watch your steps, you step aboard.
Welcome to Glitzville. Well, no doubt about it, this is Glitzville. You believe it actually floats? Well, let's get to it, huh, Mario? Let's find that crystal star as fast as we can. Uh, we're gonna do that next time. We're at a half hour, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Can I get that yet? No, I can't. That's gonna have to wait. But yeah, you can see there's some interesting stuff to look at around here. The little switch over here. Can I press that yet? I can. Power plus P. Boost your partner's attack by one. That is quite good. Yep, this is Glitzville. It's so exotic, it feels like we're in another country. It's like an entertainment hub that attracts visitors from all over the world. The Glitz Pit is obviously the main attraction. That's where fighters duke it out. To the right, the fresh juice shop. The hot dog stand to the left. Where to first? So yeah, the Glitz Pit is where most of the chapter actually takes place. Uh, we will be going in there shortly. But there is some other stuff around here you can look at if you wish. The weather in Glitzville today will be sunny with a chance of more sun. It's above the clouds, stupid. <laughs> so yeah, uh, next time around we will be heading through into, into the Glitz Pit and discovering what's happening here. This is probably one of my uh, more loved chapters of this game. I think chapter 2 is kind of weak. In comparison, this one's very strong. So I am looking forward to it. <laughs> but not right now. We are done for now. Mario's a hot dog. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, next time, we will head into the Glitz Pit and start glitzing it up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's it for now. Bye! Is my cuss out?